Wow, okay. I'm coming down from the adrenaline rush, so I'm a bit lightheaded right now. I'm gonna try to keep my thoughts together. What a power move. What an absolute fucking full tilt power move. This is probably the most exciting thing that's happened in a very long time. Not to say that the rest of the comic hasn't been good, but this right here behind me, that, oh my god, who... Now, I want to say right, right out of the get-go that, yes, I am a supporter of Paulo and Daisy. That ship is great, and I want it to sail. I wouldn't have written the fanfiction that I did if I didn't care about it or think it was good. I would have just written a Mike x Daisy fanfiction, which I, I don't really know how to go about doing that. The point is, is... I don't think this is as a big of a traumatic, horrific world ending experience as a lot of people do. I just want to say that from the start of this chapter, I've been saying that it's going to be a good one. And I had these like four pillars of things that I'm like, well, these are things that have been set up and I think we're starting to see the comic wrap itself up now. And those four things were one, Daisy was overtly showing romantic feelings towards Paulo. Given recent events, I might have to amend that first one. Two, uh, Apollo has now overtly rejected Lucy, and even in front of other people. So, so that runway was clear. They're getting ready to land the plane. I also noticed that people were starting to notice Lucy's manipulative behavior a little bit more. I know that's kind of a gray area, and that, that's not what I'm here to talk about, but it's just one of the pillars. And then the other pillar is that Mike was starting to get disillusioned with Sandy and questioning whether or not he made the right decision by taking her back. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get the full conversation between him and her, which would have been nice, but this is what we got now, and I just have to say, well done. I don't know if Tashi or Suitcase ended up watching this video, but well done. I genuinely think that this was incredible and I was so excited to see it happen because it just, it was like a pair of jumper cable. Like somebody, you know those paddles, they go clear and like it was like that. Not that I'm like, you know, this is the OTP. However, if this is the direction that they want to try to go in and try to maybe have Mike and Daisy have a fling together, I think that could be interesting. Now, a lot of people are upset because they see this is just another rebound and this time more than the time you kiss Lucy is more of an overt rebound as he says in the page. I thought this make me and Sandy even now, right? If she's gonna keep secrets, might as well have one of my own. Ugh, that's so dumb. Why do I want to make things fair? None of this is fair. Life isn't fair. None of this matters. Maybe Paula knew what he was talking about. I could have let all those girls do whatever they wanted to me. Why not if I'm just gonna get cheated on anyway? Why'd I never give you a chance? We should have dated. We could've. So that kiss did come from a place of I just wanted to get revenge on Sandy and that is an overt rebound. But I don't think that this has to remain just a rebound and I don't think it has to be a bad thing either. From my standpoint, Daisy has completely earned the right of that kiss from Mike, even if Mike did it without the intention of wanting to make her feel better and more of a selfish place, I think it can also turn into a selfless thing where Mike did it because he wanted her to have something, that she had these feelings for him so long and now the gloves were off and he could do pretty much whatever he wanted to. I mean, Daisy basically spelled that out for him right before he kissed her. And of course, Daisy, despite saying that she had kind of moved on from him, goes in for the kill, which is fantastic. It's sudden, and given what she said before, a little out of nowhere, but I also think it's great. That's why it's such a great power move, because she was just talking about seize the day, and she seized her opportunity, and now this is where we're at. I think that... While Daisy has earned and deserves affection from Mike, Mike less so from Daisy as, like I said, this is kind of a clear rebound, but it doesn't have to stay that way. There could be something there. Daisy finally gets to sling her rock with Mike, and Mike finally would be with someone who genuinely does care about him 
and is open with her emotions about him and generally helps everyone else out with their emotions as well. She's sort of this motherly figure that people feel comfortable opening up to because she makes them feel okay with how they feel even if what they're feeling might not exactly be the best. I'm also not entirely sure what she means by he's too nice because Mike did end up screaming at her pretty hard during the Halloween chapter. Well done. I really hope that they continue down this path and I really hope that Tashi commits to this and that it's like full steam ahead like you have this freight train that's going at a hundred miles an hour just barreling down the tracks just go for it because I think this is a genuinely exciting and refreshing move to see on the comics and to have two of the characters that have just been run through the mill finally share, share some happiness with each other even if it's kind of sudden and out of nowhere it's nice with that being said thank you guys for checking this video out i know i had this one up like instantly and that's because i actually had edited basically all of it except for the page that hadn't come out yet and as soon as the page came out i dropped it into the editing program and i rendered it out so it was all like ready to go uh, check out our discord if you guys want to talk more about this and from everyone at the bittersweet candy bowl fanal Thank you for this amazing twist, this fantastic turn of events. We are behind you all the way on this, and I cannot wait to see where this goes. Hopefully it goes somewhere. I'm really looking forward to that, and I think we all are, and a lot of people are very excited about this. So let's keep up that momentum. And I knew this chapter was going to be a good one, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. All right, see you guys later. Just to find you.